Falcon Sock, her cow cousin, is a bum. And let's go! Jalen Hurts needs to go. So does Sirianni. Run the ball. Run the ball. We're going to win a chip this year. Um, actually, the Eagles f***ing suck. I wish. I'm going to be nice because I do love the Eagles. Jalen Hurts has to be smarter. Back on that last play of the game. He did good before. And Nick Sirianni better figure something out because I know he doesn't call the plays. If you're not going to call the plays, you better get us ready. And he didn't get us ready, so. So if you didn't call the plays, do you think this is a Nick Sirianni issue or a Vic Fangio issue? I don't think it's a Vic Fangio issue at all. I think it's not his fault that our offense can't score points for him. Obviously, A.J. Brown being out hurt. Um, give the ball to Saquon. It's two plus two is four. Give the ball to Saquon. He gets five yards to carry. Yeah, he dropped that pass at the end of the game, but it is what it is. And you know what? We'll be all right this week, too. But shit happens, and I'm going to have a terrible night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> did, did you, can you see the birds going to the Super Bowl with a loss like this? Right now, or? no. Right now, no? Right now, no. The last-minute victory must feel good, right? Yeah, I tell you what, Kirk was efficient. He was brave. I tell you what, we're proud of him. He's, he's, a, he's a true professional. It looked a little rocky in the beginning. Did that scare y'all a little yeah. bit? It, 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 it did, but I tell you what, I think he's shaking off the rust. The more he plays, the more confident he is. The more confident the team is in him. That that uh, last drive was masterful. Absolutely. You guys got any thoughts? Yeah, man. I think the defense, top 10 defense in the league, easily. Uh, I think we make the stops when we need to make a stop. And then we put Jalen in a weird position where he had to throw that last pass and got that interception. So. I think defense plus offense made this game a win-win for us. I drove all the way from Postville, Iowa. We drove super far. We flew super far. It's very annoying. This reminds me a lot of last year, and I'm depressed. There's no pass rush. Okay. I agree. No I agree. How did you feel about uh, nobody touching Kirk Cousins in the first it's, half? The dude is on one leg. Yeah. One leg. It, it was bad. And Jalen's holding on the ball too long. It's just the same as last year. They got to call the Jets and give like $10 for a sign guard to come back or something. This is unsustainable. I think the offensive coordinator should be fired. Why he's putting the ball in the air on third down with a minute and 46 seconds left, and Atlanta has no, no timeouts left. That's a disgrace. They played too hard to lose that game. It's a shame. We gave away the win. All we had to do was run it. Third and three, run, run the ball. And if we didn't make it again, you run the ball, and the clock's down to... Less than 30 seconds. They got to score a touchdown. I agree with you. So that's where I am. I agree with you. Anyway, let's go. Let's, hey, let's let them, let them learn from this. And let's go, Birds. Absolutely, bro. I ain't going to lie. It was a roller coaster of emotions. Um, I left the game early because I was pissed. I watched that I watched that one uh, drive where they won for it on, where the Falcons won for it on fourth down. And they didn't convert. And I was like, this is over. But um, I left out early. I was listening from the inside. You should have heard how you should have heard how upset the announcer sounded when Jesse Bates caught that pick to end the game. Look, I don't want enough no Eagles fans season. Cause like I, I came I came in here at all of my friends Eagles fans. They was like, yeah, man, we about to blow y'all out this end of the bed. I don't want hear nothing from no Eagles fans for the rest of the season. Don't say nothing to me. Do you think uh this uh, team led by Kirk Cousins, do you think you guys have a chance in the playoffs this year? Honestly, no. I do think we're gonna win that division, and I think we might get a we might get a wild card win. Um, but anything after that is just like that. It's a it's a miracle after that. Absolutely, tonight was kind of surprising too, because historically, Kirk Cousins doesn't do well in prime time, especially in Philly. So were, were you surprised tonight? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he he got four Monday Night wins in his career out of like out of like thirty of them. Look, I, somebody told me that stat when I was in the stadium, and I was like. Yeah, man, this ain't this ain't Washington Kirk Cousins. This ain't this ain't uh, Vikings Kirk Cousins. We we are that dub tonight, and that's all I was worried about. 